Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew wrong with you? it. A child! A dirty, stinking, sniffling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little boo who Mommy doesn't love you, you little shit! Ow, calm down! I hate babies, and I hate children! They're dirty, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking Enough little- Enough already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids. What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, sniveling, snot. Shut up! Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't die, kitties. Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. What a nice lady. Still, no, I hear there's good money in ice cream. Show pony, prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer. You see, Amy, that's the thing about people. They're so half-hearted, pick and mix, not prepared to carry out their threats. Line, that woman, man. that lady, as I bet she likes to be known, is really a self-hater, a failure in the man's world. Yeah, why, I bet she's never even attacked a man with a vat of boiling oil. But she said she tried to kill her brother. Don't argue with me. I write books. Okay, next caller. Michaela, I'm a huge fan. Are you? Yes, you really changed my life. Before I heard you speak a couple of times, I was getting into the feminist movement, but in sort of a silly way. Really? Yeah, you know, burning my bra, beating up policemen, shooting my dad and stuff. Just playing around, you know. I didn't really understand the feelings I was having. <sighs> I know, the wearisome troubles of the half-hearted. Then, after listening to you, I realized what a load of crap it was. Excuse me? I realized what a load of crap it was. You can't hate men just because they're different. You can't hate anyone just because they're different. You have to work with them. Luckily, I needed a moronically pretentious, overeducated, hair-lipped old harridan like you to show me how stupid I was being. I mean, we're all just people, and it's idiots like you who cause the problems in this world in the name of reclaiming false ideals. And blabbering on and on about gender politics and rallies just so you can wear leather in public. Why, you misogynist! No, you're insane! You hate yourself because you're a failure. You're an appalling academic and about as intellectual as a hemorrhoid. Goodbye. Well, uh... <clears throat> uh... I mean, uh, well, it's nice to see my work has stimulated such healthy debate, don't you think? Uh, Michaela, she hated you. No, nonsense. Poor dear was in bits. Not very used to the cut and thrust of academia. I thought she expressed herself poorly and didn't know what she was saying. Probably burned her husband's cakes or something. It is important for me to confront the differences and similarities between myself and other women. I am smart, strong, I seek liberation. Your society imposes on me. God, this is all so confusing. Everything has two meanings. Exactly. Apart from the word group, which has five, you can choose to be a victim, Amy, but after you read my book, you'll realize men are irrelevant. Can a man have a baby? Do I need a man to have a baby? No, we don't need men. We need more parts of town we can call our own. More parades, more gatherings of understanding where women can beat each other with pillows and practice judo. That doesn't sound like fun at all. Oh, shut up. It's on the booth. <laughs> it's the funniest, most touching half hour on television. Charlotte, what's that smell? I said the couch on fire again. Yeah, I can help you with that. Hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, yo. And this week, it's a very special Just the Five of Us, where an attractive blonde lady tries to steal Jimmy away. Now you're talking. Just the Five of Us, Friday nights on BBS.
We're on K-Chat, and so are you. If you're listening, I'm here with Australian animal lover, Mr. Zoo. If you've got anything to ask him, why don't you just give us a call right now? Yeah, great. Give us a call right now, and I'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. Okay. Who's on the line? That's Pat Flannerty. G'day, of course it is. And, and you're in Vice City? Yeah. What are you doing here? Promoting animals, mate. Don't you remember the court case? I get lost. Amy, uh, let's have another call. Uh, uh, okay, who's on line two? You're through to K-Chat. Don't hang up on me, Flannerty. You're meant to be in a hospital, you sicko. Hey, easy there, mate. Hospitals are for people who don't feel well. I'm at the top of my game. Are you insane? <laughs> don't answer that. I know the answer. You're sick and insane and you need help. I got a visa, mate. I got a visa. You can't touch me. I'm bona fide. I love animals. Leave me the hell alone. Or I'll come by your aquarium and feed you to the bloody sharks. You're no good. Buy the book, paper, push and murderer. I hope they would have lived if you let me in a tank. I could have cheered them up. I could have done. Now stay away from me, you hear? No more callers, K-Aim. Phones are so impersonal. Not a two-way conversation like the radio. Okay. Uh, who is that? Wrong number, I think. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. A bloody wrong number. He wanted a plumber and a Chinese. I was speaking to him in Australia. Okay, cool. Uh, what was that about the aquarium? Nothing, babe. All in the past. Long time ago, I was tricked into saying something I regretted. Oh, cool. That happens to me all the time. I can see that, love. Yeah, big mistake. Never trust a judge or a mental health tribunal. Never. Only trust animals.